Shalom brothers and sisters, um, this is a video, uh, more of a testimony, okay, about that still small voice, I just want to give a testimony, uh, yesterday, I was coming home from work, and I decided to go to a place that I had been to before, but I decided to take what I thought was going to be a shortcut, um, Going in spaces and places I had not been, turning down roads I had not seen before. Assuming that I was driving perpendicular and then the road started veering to the left, to the right. There was some forks in it and the day was getting old and I started noticing that something happened. I was lost. And it's a terrible feeling when you recognize that you're lost. Um... I would have used my GPS. The problem was that I was driving on a road that everybody is kind of like a semi highway. And no matter which road I turned down, it was a single road on both sides, traffic going in two directions. And as I started seeing night come in and it was an area that had a lot of trees, somewhat foresty, off the beaten path, so to speak. As a matter of fact, I didn't know as the roads took me further and further in that uh, it was taking me further off the beaten path. I think right on the edge of quiet panic, I started talking to our Heavenly Father. Um, no, I didn't have my GPS, but I did know about the big G-O-D. Okay, Elohim, Yah. And I started talking to him. And was telling him, God, you got to help me because darkness is coming. And I can't tell if I'm further away or closer to. And the, the speed of the traffic, the way the traffic was going, it didn't give me an opportunity to do a U-turn. I started looking for places and spaces to do a U-turn. And it just seemed like every time I was trying to gather my bearings, something else would come along, some, some impediment. So I started talking to God. And telling him, you know what? I need you to help me. I need you to direct me. I need you to take me home. Show me the way. You know, in the word of God, in, in the Bible, in the scriptures, it talks about this still small voice. Okay? And that's what my testimony is today, brothers and sisters. That still small voice. And I heard that voice when I started calling out to God and I was telling him, I'm getting further and further away from home. I can feel it. At the same time, darkness is coming down. And I'm in this area where it's somewhat like the sticks. Um, I don't even know how it happened. I just know it happened. Um, but when I started calling out to God to help me, I started hearing that voice. Turn, Levada, turn here. Turn here, right, right, okay, turn that way, turn that way. And to be quite honest, everything I was looking at seemed like it was taking me further and further away from home, deeper and deeper into this stick-like area. And when I say sticks, I'm talking about where there's trees on both sides of the road, maybe a house like every block or so far back off the road. Um, and it made me feel like um, I was just totally lost. And But I was listening to that still soft, small voice. And I remember thinking, God, I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. I looked up for a second at the sky and I knew he could see above the the maze of these trees and these streets. He could see beyond the, the labyrinth because to me, the streets became a labyrinth. It was more than a maze. It was like it was shifting with me. and But I listened and I heard him. I could feel his presence. And I heard that voice this way, Levada, turn that way, turn this way, go straight, keep going. I, I looked at one street and thought, I want to go that way. Something looks familiar. No, no, no. Go that way. Go that way. And this went on for a good 10, 15 minutes. And I'm saying this because this is a testimony. Not only we talk about faith, but faith is based on trust. From my own experience, I can tell you that faith is truly based on trust.
okay? And I'm listening to this voice coming from the inside and the outside. And I'm thinking, I have to trust you. I have to trust that what you're saying, what I'm hearing is going to get me home. And I did trust and I kept going and I kept going. And to be quite honest, because I still didn't see anything familiar right when fear was trying to take over. Like, God, I'm trusting you, but I don't see anything. And if I made a mistake now, it's worse and it's really getting dark. And as soon as that fear tried to grip me, it was like, go straight, go straight, go down there, go to the light. When I followed the voice and I went down the road and I got to that light, I was in a familiar place that it was, it took me to a street that I followed the street straight down this long road and it took me home. Faith is trust. It's trust. I'm, I'm telling you. You know, a lot of times it's very easy to talk about faith when we're not put in situations where we have to use our faith, where we have to exercise our faith. And I can tell you, yes, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Yes, it is. It, I was hoping, Lord have mercy, I'm having faith in what you're saying. I'm hoping everything you're saying is right. I'm hoping that my faith in you is real and that that's your voice that I hear. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. But let me tell you something else I learned yesterday while I was lost. Faith is based on trust. If you don't trust him, if you don't trust Elohim, if you don't trust the spirit, the word of God, that still small voice to get you to your destination, to love you enough that it doesn't matter if you got into some bad situation earlier. He's not holding grudges like we do sometimes. You called out to me. You believe in me. You sought me. I am going to reward you because you sought me out. You trust me. You believe in me. And I'm going to tell you from experience, from this testimony, that when we trust in God, sometimes we got to go through dark places. We got to go through spaces where... There's no room to get off the road and call for a second backup. There's no space. I was on a single road, the, the speed of which everybody's rolling about 50 miles an hour. There was no space for me to pull over and get my phone out and do a GPS or call. There was no space for that. I had to keep moving. But there was space for trust. There was space for trust. And what I found out is our faith is based on trusting God. We have to truly trust him. And I can tell you, it's not always easy. It's not always easy. But I'm going to tell you how beautiful it is when you do it. You get that reward of your trust. God rewards those who diligently seek him, those who trust him, those who put their trust in him. He does not leave you disappointed. And I just want to say this testimony, brothers and sisters, because it may sound small, but if you ever turned off on a road and that road took you further and further away from your destination, you suddenly turn down another road and find yourself in the sticks. And, and I'm talking about a road where they don't have a lot of lights on the road. So your, your car lights but it are the lights that you have to drive by and you can't overdrive your lights. It's, it's, it's the boondock, some people call it. I don't even know how I got in the boondocks. I just turned it and as I kept going, it just kept happening. But trusting in that still small voice and listening, believing that he would not leave me. He would not forsake me. You know, sometimes we say things and... It almost sounds like a, a, a quote, but it's not a quote. I shall never leave you nor forsake you, okay? It's beyond true. It's beyond true. The explosion of happiness in me when 
that still small voice told me, no, just a little further, stay on the road. I wanted to turn off. No, stay on the road, stay on the road. And then I saw this um, traffic light way down, and I'm thinking, no, I should turn there, I should turn here. No, no, stay on the road, stay on the road. Nothing looked familiar. But when I followed the last portion of the journey, the last part down that road to where that light was, and when I got there, and I realized where I was. You know, it's amazing when you've been lost. Even that which is familiar seems strange at first. It's like something in your brain has to adjust. Wait a minute. I know this. I it's like making it home. I know this. I, I know this. I know where I'm at. Okay. My GPS was G-O-D. It was Elohim. I could feel him above me. I knew he could look down at my car. He could see me and direct me if I only trusted him. And then when I started hearing that voice, it said, you've got to believe, believe, you got to believe. And believe is just another word for trust. Trust, brothers and sisters, trust. As we grow, in our spiritual walk, as we awaken to who we are and the power and the glory of God, there here's the phone, which, <laughs> um, but as we grow, I know this phone is not going to stop. Nobody in the house is going to answer it. That's another thing I can trust. Um, I just want you to know that God does not disappoint. God is with us and he hears us when we call. And that still small voice comes through like a lion's roar when you recognize he did hear your prayer. He does care. He does answer. In those moments when you think you're all alone, you're never alone. Never alone. He never leaves you nor forsakes you. Brothers and sisters, walk in peace. Be encouraged. This is a test that I went through yesterday that is my testimony today. You be encouraged. And if you feel lost, be it on some unfamiliar road or the road of life, if you feel lost about a decision you have to make, call on God. Call on Elohim. Call on Yah. And that still small voice, let it lead you and direct. It'll take you in paths of righteousness. It will give you peace. Yes, it will. This is my test that was a test that became a testimony. And I just want to share it with you, brothers and sisters. Peace. Shalom.